Alright. Uh, le- huh? Or, 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 do, do, you, do you want to start the duel right now? I mean... Uh, let's get... Let, let's, uh, just Black Crystal, let me go back to the bonfire so right. I get everything back. Because I'm okay. out of blue, so... Ah, okay. Okay. So I think, yeah, you are right about the left side, but, yeah. It's essentially super hard to get it consistent with the blue, with the left side. You need to be... I think you need to be as as fast as, as you can. Not yeah. like in the right... The right side, I think... What I, what I have noticed with the right side, it doesn't matter at all if you go slow or uh, or uh, fast. Maybe G9, maybe because split with uh, the, the attack become from the la- the right side, like the headstone is start from the right side. Like let's say let's if I test the L2, it looks like it, it came out from the light the, the, the right side. Maybe that's why the right side is, doesn't matter that it's slow or fast. Like with uh, the infinite, <clears throat> because the headstone came from the right side, maybe. It's kind of weird. To... I don't know, man. Splitlift is kind of weird weapon. Honestly, I think it it might just have to do with the the just the timing, like just the timing of the yeah. hit. Like not even the side or anything like that. Like if it if it doesn't hit the back, I don't think it has anything to do with which side it, it comes out from. It's just about the timing, I think. If like you hit fast enough between the hits, you can't escape it. And if you're too slow, you, you can escape it. I think. Are you still here? Yep, I'm listening okay. to you. I think, yeah, I... Yeah, the thing is with Skyrim when I test that on PC, it doesn't matter, I think, the platform at all. So when I tested with him, it was like, the right side, he doing it super fast, but I couldn't do anything about it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe because, like, when you get in da- when you get it down on one side, you, uh... When you get it down on, like, either side, if you do, if you do it well, like, you do it good, it doesn't matter which side it is, as long as you do it well. Oh my god, that was scary. Yeah. <laughs> Pontiff is is really really painful. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is the fucking strongest weapon after all. Yeah. Panic him. That was I get for panic. That weapon is fucking dumb, man. That weapon is dumb. Fucking PK. I don't think Caribbean has has a chance against it. Yeah, I don't think so either. Oh, I could have rolled that. I didn't think you were that close. What I'm doing? <laughs> I thought I was... Take it down. I don't know, I'm fat. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, if I do Gundir, I need the ring. Okay, that's why. Oh my gosh, that was... trade after oh my god yeah yeah if you can't trade you can't trade with pk with any dagger except the murky damn it 
four. It's uh, I think it's the strongest weapons actually. Like uh, I don't know. I don't know. If I think on latency, Murky is stronger. Like on latency, but if it's a clean connection, I think P I think PK is better, in my opinion. Uh, G9, is it wise to play uh, Caribbean? I mean, like even versus something like the Pontiff Carbon Sword. I want to say no, but like. Every time I play like a curve sword player, I still do well with Corvian because it's just a good weapon. But like, I mean, the problem with Corvian is that like you can't do any mix-ups really because as soon as you stagger your hits with the with the Corvian, if the other guy are once out of your staggered hits, you're gonna trade with him and get. Uh, trade combo so you, you go, you're gonna tr like mm. say you do like staggered r1s with corvian i'm just gonna wait till you get here so i can show you okay so say like you get a hit on me and then you stagger like for a roll catch like i'll do it to you right there say, like say you do this mm. well just do that to me right okay. there what i just did wow you see that you see what i mean there like oh and do that God. again same thing a, a bit less, uh, like, let's okay. just do it at this range, at max range. Alright. I'll just do the, uh, the staggered R1. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Do it, do it just a bit, um, here you go, at this range. Like, at max range. Yeah, I see it. Like, you trade combo, like, if you do it from close enough, I mean, there's no point for you to, to, uh... There's no point for you to do this if you're at point blank, like, you can just do this at point blank, but... If, like, you're at max range, you need to, like, take, take another step forward in order to get the second hit, and that's when I can just R1 and trade with you, you know what I mean? Okay, I got it. What if I'm using Murky? Oh, if you're using Murky, I... Yeah, yeah, you're you're better off with Murky against uh, Cur uh, Pontiff, in my opinion. I see. It's not about only the quick steps. Uh, no, it's the about trade. the stun. It's about the stun. Like, um, say we trade with Murky, uh, yeah. like do the same thing, the staggered hit. Like, see, I, I can't like. This is the fastest I can trade out. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Make so sense. that's why, so that's why it's a lot safer. Like I'm trying to R one out of it. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, that's oh why Corvian is not as good against curved swords. Makes sense why Corvian is a poor weapon comparing to them. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, I never know. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, I swear, I never know. Yeah, that's why Murky people like uh, shit on Murky so much. It's because of that stun, that long stun. It has the same stun as the mid weapons like curved sword. All right, let's do this then. Yeah, you're gonna be much better with the, uh... Uh-huh. I, I can't do much against Rook. <laughs> oh my god. You just can't panic, honestly. Like, if you panic, you... Like, it's better to just try to R1 out of something than to panic out of it. Yeah, you have to be careful not to get cornered like that. You know, don't be afraid to... Like, when you get cornered like this, don't be afraid to switch to quick step to get out or just perseverance to get out. Honestly, it's the best uh, best way to get out of corners. Just quick step or perseverance. Alright, alright, I'm gonna try that. It feels bad. <laughs> I'm so close. <laughs> nice. Uh, actually, I can't. Yeah, it's just reset. I don't right. have. Uh, I don't have the web. The. Uh, 
blessed weapon I want, actually. Also, I think I'm just gonna stick with keeping the Havel Ring. Like, this is a new new stat, so I'm fat rolling a lot because I don't know, like, the uh, break points. Yeah, I've never played with this build. There you go, yeah. I'm not too trying to abuse the quick step because I don't like to involve myself with a quick step it's just uh, being needy to something like that. It's a it's a bit stupid like to play only quick steps. Well, I mean, you gotta do it. It's better to, like, I'm very good with daggers, but I'm not very good with quick step. I think it's worth it to at least know how to use it, like anything, really. I see. Damn. I, I think it's... I don't think you should um, just prevent yourself from learning quick step just because it's dishonest. I think it's better to still know how to use it and not be afraid to use it when you're fighting, especially like against other meta stuff. Like, don't be afraid to use just to, to use quick step if you think it's good against like a curved sword or against a crossbow or whatever, you know. I think it's I'm, worth it. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try to use things like that, especially in duels. But I have something to ask you. If I'm using, like, let's say, I'm blocking with a Black Knight shield and having a Murky or a Harp. So yeah. the thing is, I can't. The stun is not the same. The stun is not the same. Like it, you saw how you traded with Murky with one hand. Uh, you mean uh, now I'm using harp? Yeah, yeah. With the harp, like yeah. one-handed and two-handed, the stun is not the same. So, like, if you trade with me two-handed, uh, I don't, I don't get a guaranteed second hit off of that. But if you trade with me one-handed, I get a guaranteed second hit off our trade. Damn it! I see. Uh, let me, yeah, let me show you so that. Uh, and same it's with Mercury. Clear. Same. Yeah, yeah. Same with same with any daggers. One-handed. There's no. Um, like, like just a, it's just a, I'll, I'll do a roll and then I'll do an R1 like that so okay. we, you can okay. time it. No, for a trade, like just uh let's just do a straight up trade. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not fast enough. Not one handed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it. Oh no, I, I I didn't do it fast. I didn't spam it. Uh, let's do it again. Yeah, I have no chance. Like that right there, and then do it two hand. Like do it. Let's do the same thing, but two handed. Yeah. Mm. See that? Ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see. How, like how much faster kind of or like how much you priority you have compared to a uh, one-handed? Damn it, man. Oh my yes. god. This so one that's one. why you don't want to like trade with it one hand because of that like right there. If you, if we trade, like I pretty much get another hit after it and if uh if we trade when you have two hand, like we can both roll out of it pretty much. Oh my god, this weapon. <laughs> <laughs> oh I know, God. right? See that? Yeah, exactly. Mm, makes sense. I understand you. God damn it, G9. I should I should try to quick step from the beginning. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, 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 uh. 
All right. Yeah, don't be afraid to, um, you know, I think like you're one of the few weapons who's good with swaps and all of that. I think you should, uh, don't be afraid to like use more swaps against me to like surprise me or try to get something clever. This kick. <laughs> yeah, like that. Pretty much. We're transforming Devil into Grim. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I don't know why I'm. I'm gr really greedy for a trade. Even I'm. <laughs> Let me actually go back to Firelink real quick. I forgot to infuse some weapons. I'll be right back. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm staying in chat, but... <laughs> that Grim surprised me. <laughs> That's some Grim strat. Grim always does that. Like, you'll hold the crossbow and then switch... Uh, switch to two hand to then attack you. It's really good. G9, I don't understand how you beat him with the Great Lance. I don't... I'm not understanding it. Really? How you beat him with the Great Lance? Great Lance is actually a, not a bad weapon. Not one sec here. I think you on, and Toko are only people who use that weapon. Oh my yeah, God. great. I love Great Lance, honestly. I love it more on Strength Build because on Strength Build it does more damage and uh, you take less damage because it's Strength. Like, that's one of the reasons why I actually main Strength is because it's because of Great Lance. Damn it. Imagine, like, I played this game for, for a really long time, but I didn't know about the train with daggers. Versus something like uh, perfect swords. Yeah. Thanks, man. I need to mention this actually. Thanks for that. We recorded as well. Yep. Damn. Okay, there you go. Uh, I can someone like Fury G9. You um, Fury play Pontiff Perfect Sword always. So you murder it or what? What you take? What against uh, Fury? Yeah. I just use everything I know. Like I, I use Corvian. I use uh, Gundir. I use a uh, hard quick step crossbow. I just use everything in my book. Cause like Grim is a you know is a very one dimensional player. Like. In any situation where Grim doesn't have a crossbow out, I know I'm gonna be better than him. But against Fury, like me and Fury are very, very uh, like equal on on a lot of things. So, and he's actually slightly better than me with curved swords as well. So I have to use everything I know, really. Oh my god, the fucking... Thank you, uh... Damn it. Alright, alright, alright. I can. 
Great, great Lens is not a joke, man. Yeah. <laughs> it is not a joke. Uh, uh. And there, I don't know, you'll notice during our fights, but it has like very, very fast recovery. Like it's very, it's actually very hard to backstab uh, the Great Lens. I love this. I love this book there. It's amazing. If you know what you're doing with Great Lance, I've been saying it for a long time, it's a very good weapon. It has like everything you need for a weapon to be good, like it has a good attack that can roll catch with the R2. It had like a massive trade with the um, uh, the two-handed R1 into full weapon art, it's like at 800 to 1000 damage. Oh my god. If you land that, yeah. So. It's like pretty much the equivalent of getting a parry when you land a two-handed Great Lance uh, R1. The, and the, and you you are always having Leoring with it. Uh, no, not right now. This is not like if I was on my strength build, I'd have Leo, but not on this. Ah, uh, but why? Because this is this is not a Great Lance build. I'm on a quality build. Me okay, makes sense. So it, like if I would use the Great Lance, like. <clears throat> uh, like in a try-hard fight, I'd be on my strength build. I would not use it on quality. Oh my god, makes sense now. Because it does more damage on strength for like less less uh, stats investment, and uh, you have more defense, so you win the trades even more. So you have more points to invest in vitality. So yeah, but you basically have. Uh, oh, I forgot tier as well. So you basically have more vitality. And uh, that lets you uh, enough so that you um, you can have Leo. Actually. Yeah, I can't do that twice. That's, uh, that's bad. Ooh, this stuff. Damn it. Yeah, it's, if you fuck up once with the against the the two-handed R1, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to come back from it. Oh my god! Oh, so you don't know. get R1 into weapon art, isn't it? Yeah. When you use R2 with the Great Lance. Like in the our fights, I, I didn't see the art room yet. Or no, I used it. 
I did not mean to do that. Oh, yeah, okay. I used it plenty. <laughs> you said you didn't see the R2, like, the first two fights, that's like the only thing I did. Uh, dude, it's really, uh, it's really hard to say if it's the weapon art of the, uh, or the R2. Yeah, this is, okay, okay. Like, that's the R2 uh, right there. Yeah, this is the R2. Dude, it's really hard to... <laughs> The thing is, I'm trying to focus in the fight, but meanwhile, like, it's really hard to say what, what he's doing with the Great Lands. I have really, really no uh, experience versus these weapons, since no one ex use it uh, right, actually. But yeah, I, I can see that uh, Poof was really cool things. But I don't understand when you use R2 and when you use the weapon R2. No, what, you don't use the weapon art from neutral at all. You only use the weapon art when you combo an art one. I see. I see. You what you what you did that there that, that was the normal R one, isn't it? This is the R one. Yeah, this is R one. Okay. <laughs> I think you need to pick up the weapon to at least know the move set. I I no no no. I used uh, uh, Great Lance. I used it, but the thing is when when your opponent using it, you can't tell. <laughs> Alright, this is, this is another arm. The thing is, I'm, I'm serious about that. It looks weird. Oh no. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> I didn't know that you're gonna do all this. Like, I was like... Alright, he gonna stop now. He gonna stop now. He gonna stop now. <laughs> So what I have seen, what I have seen, this You're is our one, as you know, you, I know yes, this is our one. but the thing is, when I see you do, playing with it, I can't tell anymore. That's the R2. Yeah. That's the R1. <laughs> <laughs> You're fat rolling, uh, devil. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, I never use it, that's why. Oh my god. Like, I'm tired. I streamed for long today, so I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a weapon you can just pick up and try to do everything with it. Oh, you actually got a fucking double hit, you lucky bastard. I have Leo on. Yeah, but you got a double hit. This is R2, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a good roll catch, the R2. Uh -huh. So for roll catching, you're using R2? Yeah. You roll oh. catch with only two-handed. One-handed, it doesn't have good tracking, but nice. two-handed, it does. Makes sense. Nice. And R1, I think if you follow R1 with weapon art, it's and no one can parry it at all. Whatever the tool. Nice. Uh, when you chase down someone, you're doing it like with um, running R1, isn't it? Well, the running R1, it's... I mean, I would never advise people to actually use it. It's only when you're like experienced with the weapon and know when to throw it. Because it's, it's one of those attacks that if you throw it wrong, you're just going to get yourself in trouble. The running attack is... Uh, while it's very good because it comes out very fast, it takes like your whole stamina bar and uh, it has no tracking, so... You pretty much need to know for sure that you're gonna land the attack if you go for it. Because if you miss it, you really get yourself in trouble. Damn. Um, and the charging R2, you never use it in the duel, isn't it? Uh, you can R2. charge it, but... Um, I mean, it's more like a mix-up here and there like sometimes you can charge it especially against people that quick step uh -huh. but uh against shield it's definitely not worth charging because when you charge it you have more recovery so it's easier for you to get backstabbed uh okay oh, actually yeah, I forgot when you to. chase down when you chase down someone i saw you melt your time playing uh using great lands if, if they just like in an in invasion for example someone running. yeah if they're if they're latent uh, it's a good idea I could have rolled that
for the wake up, it's R2. You just uh, move. yeah, you can do R2 for wake up. Oh my yeah. god, that was wonky. Yeah, I love when uh, it's puke. The pu uh, the puke one, it's cool. The head with puke. Oh my god, I, wa I was great. I see. I see. The head stun. Weird, the headstone is weird. Oh, the headstone is really weird. It's not like this stuff when you No. You can't like You can't even combo R1 into uh like R1, the one handed, you need to do R1 into a uh, shield poke. Nice, okay, okay, this is cool. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do that. No. Uh, now, if I charge it, I, it would be a backstab, free backstab for you there, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oof. No. Ooh, uh, I should have done that. Follow it with weapon arm. It looks really weird to play with with weapon. No. <laughs> How you fucking play with me so often? <laughs> it looks so weird. Yeah, this is, I think it's the, the weird. Do you have weapon. tier? I don't think you have tier. No, I don't have it. Yeah, let's suggest reset. Oh my god. Yeah, you don't you don't need to play with it. <laughs> it's fine. It looks cool. It looks so cool actually. Since I'm not, I like I like to get good with uh, different things actually. But like if you, my, the best advice I can give for that weapon is just try to fish with it. Just try to go for backstabs, especially like against other weapons because you have a good R1. You have eye armor. Like w once they're close, there's a. Oh, I got nice. a double hit. The R1 wins the R2. No, uh, it's because I got a double hit. That's just ah, luck. Okay. This is the hardest weapon in my opinion to deal with, I guess. Like, as I said, it's pretty rare to, f to find someone at Panther playing with this Yeah. Weapon. Yeah, people don't really delve into it, but there's more to it to the weapon. Like, a mirror is... Like, it's not as hard to mirror Great Lance, like, to mirror, like, a good Great Lance in a mirror like that, because, uh... Like you can't really play for with the strength of the weapons, but when you're playing like a, against like Pontiff or Murky or like Crossbow and stuff like that, you can really use like some of the Great Lance's move set to its advantage, like the the reach, the the good R2 roll catch, 
the two-handed eye armor for a good read. It's really good. Nice. I would the like only thing you have to be careful when using it is when you start playing with it and you're constantly locked on. Like, if you're playing against someone that knows the weapon, you can abuse the tracking uh, very consistently. But uh, you can also, like, use that to your advantage and just free aim. Like, straight up free aim your Great Lens hits if the, the other guy knows the, the proper angle to attack it. Nice. I think I think uh, Grim is the most ex ex <laughs> the most guy having experience how to fight Lance now. <laughs> Since you always fight him with that, like a lot of time I have to. Like, uh, what's going on with the kick today? Oh. yeah, good. Well, when you get the R1 there, you should really go for the first uh, uh, for the full weapon, right? Ah, uh, I see. No! Really? I missed it. Now oh, I wanna see the walk up. I'm gonna... Ah, I see. The range with the force is so weird. <gasps> Damn it. See. <laughs> Playing so bad with that. Well, you don't know the weapon, so I mean, you're doing pretty good for someone who's never played with it. Oh, oh I see. Nice. I see something. In, uh, okay. So if I'm holding. Both handed the great sword or whatever, you can do the same, isn't it? Like uh, all the two weapon art. Uh okay, try to Can you get out of that? No, I can't. You can't get out of that? No, really? I can't. Let's try wow. again. Uh Elop. Oh. Damn it. I actually did not know that. Uh Oh I can't I can't deny. Holy wow, shit. so that's a guaranteed guard break. Holy <laughs> shit. Nice. I was like, you know why Why it was like that? I was like holding it like both handed. I, I said yeah. myself, I can't do like Gander. I can't do that. Yeah. This is that. But I couldn't. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try Interesting. With, uh, the ultras. No, I can't, you know. Oh wow. my god. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Oh my god, bro. Nice, nice. Dude. <laughs> oh my god, bro. You always, you always giving me some, <laughs> some new things. This, this weapon is really interesting. It's fun. I think it's a very fun weapon. Yeah. Oh, I, I got too greedy there. Ooh, ooh. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god, it didn't hit. You were too far on that gun deer. 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared to come closer. <laughs> oh god damn it. By the way, I heard from some people that Gundir uh, does well uh, versus Pontiff Perfect Sword. Is that real? Well, I did well in the tournament versus Assassin. I still lost to uh, to his PK. Um, if you're using like, I was doing well until he started using Perseverance. When he started using Perseverance, what he did pretty much was every time he would see me start a weapon art, he would toggle to Perseverance and just purse and then start his pressure from there. So it pretty much nullified my weapon art's roll catch. That makes sense now. So if you're playing against like pure curve sword, it's not that bad. But if they perseverance, I mean, they can shut down your charge pretty much. Oh, um, okay. Because okay. he can just like pretty much like on reaction, like say you have gun deer, yeah. I can just do that. Like I can be like that, wait for you to charge, and just do that pretty much. Okay, let's try. And then oh you my know, god, do that whatever. was so fast as well. I Bro, I didn't know that you can do it so that fast as well. Let's see again. Makes sense. Makes and then I'm sense. just going for a, ba a bad backstab, but uh, like what you do, that's too far though. Ah, okay, okay. Oh boy. And you just do that from there, yeah. Oh my god. So that's it. That's what he did to uh, to beat me in that tournament. Oh, makes sense now. I understand. So still, still murky. In my opinion, Pontiff Curved Sword should be always versus murky, <laughs> or or Pontiff Curved Sword mirror. Nothing yeah, else, I guess nothing else gonna work. I had a Bo9 after that with him, where I used crossbow and harp, and uh, I won a lot more convincingly because uh, it's just better. You know, crossbow and harp is just better. Ah, uh, that won't work, but yeah, uh, I'm not go with the full charge. I'm stupid, but <laughs> I'm just training and everything. <laughs> Oops. Oh, 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 this is so, this is yeah. so annoying. This fucking pontiff right there, like one fucking mistake and four hits. It's fucking dumb. Weapon for real, but still, still more require more skills than murky after all. Like, yeah, I, I guess because of the quick step. I think it's really the quick step that makes murky kind of dumb. The fact that you can like quick step cancel out of your R ones, it makes it so uh, so annoying. Based it. <laughs> was funny, actually. I didn't mean to go for another backstab. I wanted to fucking do a staggered R1. I hate both. Dude, I don't know when you're gonna stop, this is the thing. Oops. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, I fucked up there in the corner. I could have um just swapped a uh, hard swap to perseverance instead. That's what I should have done. Alright, let's just go to the death here. I thought I spaced that. Oh my god, I'm always thinking I'm spacing those. Yeah, 
yeah, the stalkers, I, I forgot about that. But I have a question, you know, if I want to be safe from uh, backstabs, if I'm doing the charge, the grounded charge, is it, I need to unlock first of thing. First thing, I'm You can't be safe it. when you uh, use Gundir charge. The only way you can be safe from getting backstab is if you hit the wall with your charge. That's the only way. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So if I feel that I mess it, just go to You the hit the wall. wall. Yeah. Nice. Okay, thanks. That's what I was doing against Fury. Uh, okay, okay, every time, okay. every time I knew that I would not connect with it, I would just go for the wall right away. All right. It doesn't matter which side you take. Doesn't matter. No, as long as you get the little ping, you know what I mean when you hit the wall. Mm -hmm. you, no backstab. Yeah, the animation. Yeah. Up. You can. Oh my god. So man. you can't get backstab when that ping thing happens. Okay. Okay. Nice, nice. A lot of things, a lot of things here. We learned from G9. <laughs> oh. It should be like lessons from G9, actually. <laughs> uh, 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 what, like a lot of great lines I didn't know today. A lot of stuff. And meanwhile, the Gandhi thing. I think, I think I don't know stuff like that because. First of all, I, I didn't even uh, do that much back in time, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love this. There's there's a twist to it. You'll see. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Poison! <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, I mishandled it. Fuck, oh, no god. poison yet! No! It's all in vain! <laughs> you know what? I accepted the challenge, I'm not usable. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 use the, use the thing, it's fine. <laughs> I will not die to poison, G9, trust me. <laughs> I will not die to poison. Ah, uh, what I'm doing? I can't. God damn it. No. No, 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 That's the only thing I like about Claymore on quality builds. Just the fucking poison Claymore. The buildup is pretty fast, it's like 5 hits. If you don't wait too much. Oh wait, this is the thing. Why are you having the poison Claymore? Is it like a, a joke thing or... I mean like... Um, well, it's kind of a joke with the cancel, but if the cancel is not there, it's not that bad. Alright, alright. Because it still does about 200... 200 damage if I land just a normal R1 like it does like PK damage like the poison claymore so it, it's not too bad but it's not like really good either but at least at the same time if you're playing someone who's just reaction rolling everything you do you're still gonna proc the poison so you do get some sort of pressure from it so it's not completely stupid but like against anything that is hyper armor like it's pretty stupid to go with uh, with poison. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Because like, if you're fighting another hyper armor weapon, you're most likely gonna trade. So you'll lose trades if your claymore is not made for damage. Nice. And they find claymore is pretty bad. Yeah, it it kind of is, but pretty bad. Claymore is weird. What they think, uh, G9. I mean, like. Why they made it like this? I mean, it fits every build, at, but not quality. I mean, uh, it was better quality before, but they uh, they changed it. So it got nerfed in the game? Yeah, back oh. then, yeah. It was better quality before. Like, see there? I did not even win that trade. <laughs> When you are one versus my R2. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Hey. 
Oof, this thing I, I thought I was out of you, by the way. Like if I go to the pivot, and but I'm still in pivot, I uh, I go for the weapon arm. Like let's say let's say I do this again. I saw it like when you survived there. Ah, uh, no. No. <laughs> I hate those. You know what? Actually, uh, unless you unless you want to get resummoned. <laughs> I'll just use crossbow. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, now you're good. I can just break your tier normally. Oh my god. Yeah, Gandu is pretty bad. I, any any gloves, I guess, pretty bad against uh, something like... Clay. Yeah, great swords, yeah. Even, even against poison, it's... I think the great sword still has it. Yeah, this is what I learned from the video. And instead of uh, like 50% guaranteed backstab, maybe I not get it. So I got for the charge instead. Yeah, I mean any roll catch, like I got that trick from Painted. Painted used to do, uh, when he got in backstab position, he would get, he would do an R2. I see. But that's like the same principle, really. It's fun to like when you're with greatsword and even when you get a ghost hit, you know you're like going somewhere because you have some sort of poison build up. Like it's fun to have that, but uh, I mean the damage is just not good enough to make it like worth it in my opinion. I think the cla the poison claimer is like destroying gunk and and the host is alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I actually lo love the Gale Greatsword, but the only thing I hate about it, uh, the the rule attack. Really? The bad. rolling is not too bad, actually. I mean, like, the poise with that G9. Oh, yeah. I mean, with Claymore, I kind of trade with weapons if I do the, uh, the rule attack. Mm hmm. Okay, let's do this. Okay, now we're a big boy. I should have went for back that, but I wasn't. I was like... Wow, that range. Oh, actually I don't need to do that. I can just do the spin. Yeah. Ah, you have uh, enough poise. I see. Is that roll feels bad. Uh, damn. It does good damage that weapon art on the quality. Oh 
really. Okay. Has a ton of fiber armor. No, damn it! I didn't. I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. Oh god. Left Sastos, imagine. This is not G9. Yeah. <laughs> I have seen it uh, lift Sastas. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, that was cool shit. I know Gabri used to like to fight me when I was using Great Sword with Blade, but I never really liked that matchup. You pretty much can only do the weapon right. Like, uh, if you want to win trades. And for you, like, you're you're doing it right when you're just doing R2s. Like, usually what you want to do is just R2 roll out, R2 roll out. That's the only thing you're not doing. You need to roll out after you land the R2. I see. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Yeah, let's try. Alright. I actually don't hate this build, it's not not bad. Oh I let me just do one thing. Oh I forgot to ask you about <laughs> uh Halbert and Gravian. Is it a really good setup? Oh I'm, yeah, uh, I'll I'll show you after this. Hard. Yeah, I'll show you after this. Oh, this is OP actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Alright. You know what I have for you? <laughs> <laughs> this is OP, bro. I tried. Oh really? That's like that fucking latency uh, suck right there. Feel bad. I went around I it. No, I didn't know that I'm gonna get it. Oh. Yeah, I went around it, but because we have slight light. And, uh... oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm not used to this fucking inventory. Serious? I fucked that up. Wow, <laughs> that was easy too. I was I I was about to space it, but I did the fucking Walmart pivot. Oh, 
Feels bad. Oof. Oh my god. I can't even breathe. <laughs> Damn, man. I'm not used to this build. I keep fat pulling. There you go. I'm good now. I love, I love this. I love when you pull out the, the curve, you know, so. Of the range. Corbin has some nasty range, and uh, because we're still like EU to NA, there is a bit more range than it should as well. You're in Germany, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our latency comparing to like yeah, New Canada and Germany is cool. It's really great because latency. Actually, yeah, there is a lot. Yeah, it's actually pretty good, yeah. but it's still there. Like there's still slight latency, but. It's yeah, pretty it's good, cool. especially to this game standard. It's pretty good. <laughs> like for what, for what I have seen, Whitnick and uh, G, uh, Spectre, they are way more latent to me than uh, you. Like Whitnick living in uh, Russia and the Spectre in Saudi Arabia. So yeah, both of them are super latent to me, like extremely. Like uh, every player that I fought from Russia, besides like there was there's this one dude from chat. I think it. I'm not. I I hope I remember right. I think it's Cat Ferrari. Like he's the only Russian player that actually has a good connection to me that I've played so far. Ah, uh, I see. Like all the other Russian players have terrible connection. Those that I fought, at least. The rule attack is a thing. I see. Catch me once. <laughs> oh my! All right. I need to be careful, bro. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, Corvin is definitely my weapon. Starting to learn. Uh, 
Man, fix that. It made, it made, made me greedy as... Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, there's um, there's definitely some mind games when you play some Corvian mirrors about the uh, like about either you're gonna try to do the weapon art, and if you try to do you the weapon art, like the other guy can R1 out of your R1 spam. You know what I mean? Like there's this little thing going on. Like, are you gonna spam or are you gonna weapon art at some point? It's like this weird thing. I see. I noticed something. Um, you you use the open art at a point, like when you see your opponent gonna just panic, you start yeah. to use it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't use it from neutral. I use it as a roll catch. Nice. I use it sometimes in neutral, but it's very rare because uh, it's just not. It's just punishable. If you miss it, you can get whiff punished. I still do it sometimes, but it's a lot more rare. Like, I'll use it more for roll catching. Little dirty shit. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded like fucking uh, Schlego right there. You remember Schlego? Oh, I of course. Big boss. Yeah. Yeah. I him. It was pretty cool. I always loved Schlego. Such a cool guy. Yeah, he's cool. He got a guy come back. He, he has some issues with his PC. Oh really? Yeah. Do you keep in touch with him? Uh, Tam, I was talking about Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's really good the spacing weapon, like, in, if I focus on Kirby and more. Yeah, it's a very good for spacing. It's very tight and you can definitely uh, do some cool things with it. Wow, nothing there. Just outside of the range. <laughs> yeah, the tracking there on that weapon. The timing was good, it's just that you needed to unlock there because the tracking was not uh, good enough locked on. Oh, when you did the weapon art, like the timing was right. Like you went for the weapon art, that was the right move, but you needed to unlock to. Uh, Damn right. To hit me. Another thing uh, interesting, uh, G9, 
Is it better to go with the ring, ring of spell protections uh, plus three, or um, let's say using light Leo lightning in, in this? Oh, lightning buff. Okay, and uh, do, is it better to play with thunder uh, stun plate train plus? We can three? test it. I actually have no idea. We can Nine. test it. I was. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be better with uh, steel protection. Honestly, like usually you want your. Uh, defense to be like you want your defense buffs or defense augmentations or defense ring to be of the damage type that's most damaging from your opponent so if most of your if most of your opponent's damage is physical you're gonna be better with steel if most of the damage is elemental you're gonna be better with you know Makes whatever ele elemental uh, ring but okay. we can test it so try uh, with um, Oh, no, uh, steel. Okay. So 142, and then try with um, the other one, thunder. 147. So you take more with thunder. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So okay. you take about five more, pretty much. All right. Thanks. Oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I have to be careful because, uh, man, Corvian with fucking uh, tear stones is no joke. Like, it does a ton of damage. No! Thanks for the kick. <laughs> I hate the PS5 controller, I swear. Ooh, that range, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of a gram! Oh my god, that fucking reminds me of a gram. Dude, honestly, I picked up so many fucking tricks from fighting Grim. Oh. Like, he has some very, very cool, uh, like, strategies when he fights. <laughs> like, stuff that actually works at meta. Like, he has some really neat, neat tricks. I need to pick up a few things from me as well. <laughs> Definitely what I meant. Oh Definitely what I meant. Oh, no surprise. Oh, boy.
No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. I feel like the more I play with gun deer, the more you have to be like very careful when you throw it. Because I noticed that the more it's becoming popular, the more easy it is to punish. Like people are starting to figure out to uh, like how to play against it. Let's switch it up a bit. Um, oh, let's try this actually. Oh my god. I think I can't uh, improve my uh, spacing and s uh, skills with uh, invading or survival. It's hard. Yeah, you, re you really need to duel, honestly. And you, you can't just duel like random. You need to duel actual Yeah, good yeah random duels is so boring, G9. Most of the time they lose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, random duels is pretty... Uh... I usually do random duels when I'm trying to test something. Like I have some <laughs> st new strategy or something. This weapon is more um, like it's most mo most uh, underestimated weapon, like underrated weapon, because uh, if someone really good with it, it's dangerous. It's really dangerous. Yeah, weapon. it's a very good weapon, honestly. I thought you gonna uh, uh, rule L1. I was like, <laughs> all right. I, I swear to god, I was swapping, like, I was ready to swap weapon after I attempted that parry. I was so sure that was gonna land, like, so sure. I was really thinking that parry was landing. Yeah, this is weird. I was like, I was like saying, this is gonna be a parry. Yeah. Oh my god. Why? Why? <laughs> you want to reset? Uh, <laughs> do it, do it. <laughs> oh, God. Oops. something in my eye there you go <laughs> I was actually scratching my eye that's why, oh that's why I was going there uh... Uh, this is, that hurt. That, um, did you try to get a headshot? No. Uh, I wasn't try. I thought, I thought you gonna, you gonna space there and try to, uh, have distance again. So oh. I thought, let's just throw an eye for that ring. Cause, oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, dude. Oh my god. You'll die. I didn't want to do a parry, I wanted to do the. <laughs> no! Oh my god. Ooh, this is gonna be down to the wire. Actually, I. My build is too fucking tight, I can't swap to anything. <laughs> No, again. No, no. <laughs> no! I wanted to swap the Red Tear Stone, but I wanted to swap the fucking Morion Blade. I wanted to swap to a bunch of things, but I would have been overweight, so fuck it. Just went with it. That's always the thing when you're trying a new build. You always have to watch out for these breakpoints, like, or you're gonna be fat rolling a lot. Even your inventory totally changed. Yeah, that too. Uh. <clears throat> oh god. I like that that buff. I don't use it often, but I like it. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh. Yeah, I'm not on my string build. That that swap right there was supposed to be a uh, uh, saber. I see. Not mean to kick there. Oh, uh, what? Wow. No. <laughs> Are you laughing because I'm staying locked on? <laughs> Thanks God, I have cancelled. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's really nice.
Oh, that was. I like the roll attack with the claymore. Oh my god, the hyper armor of the, the land, the R2. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that was. Mm, I might actually scrap the poison claymore. <clears throat> I don't know. You have Gale in this spell as well, isn't it? No, well, it's in my box. But uh, I don't like. I mean, it's better to use Gale in duels. I just don't like it. <clears throat> I don't like the look of it. It's ugly. Oh. That's just preference. I mean, in quality build, even in quality build, when you, when you duel, you don't pull out Gale at, at all. Only once in the tourney, I guess. Well, sometimes. I mean, I play with everything. I, I'm not gonna say I never play with this weapon or that weapon but uh, usually I'll use claymore because I just like the look of it it's just my favorite weapon <laughs> shout out to Spectre <laughs> oh my god oh my god not this Yep. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. I hate this weapon. <laughs> yes, you can. Actually, I can't do much. Holy oh, shit, that quick step with it. Yep. This is oh my god. This is a stupid <laughs> weapon, man. This is definitely <laughs> the best weapon in the game. Yeah. I think you're right. No way this weapon, no way. No way. <laughs> that fucking weapon, man. Uh, do I even have a stock here? <laughs> I actually, yeah, I, I don't I don't mind the uh, dual uh, versus F now because I'll get good versus F eventually. But, yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! I've also been dueling recently with, uh, like, a lot more, so I'm sharper than the first time we played. Ooh, he's yeah. Like, and my spacing is better now than the last time we played. Damn, you can't breathe, you can't, you can't breathe to do it. Honestly, way. man, if I was you, I'd just try crossbow and either crossbow S-Stock or like crossbow murky yourself. I, I, I couldn't, I had no time or to put my inventory. <laughs> oh, I mean, at the start of the match, just tell me if you're not ready. <laughs> I was surprised, so I was, <laughs> the thing is, you know, I, I had like uh, the, what it called, the shield drink, so I was ch which, uh, going to Leo, and meanwhile, I wanted to pull out the X12, but damn that. Yeah, too much pressure. <laughs> damn that weapon. Oh my god. I think, uh, Merky, if you get one mistake with that, like, even you are a good player, you're gonna get punished. Like, I don't know. Looks. Yeah, against a good player, it's pretty annoying when like there's a murky, a good murky in your face that just waits for you to panic roll. That's the worst, oh, really.
Oh my god. Oof, let's actually reset. There's no need to break the tier. This is the hardest weapon in the game. That shit is fucking... The pressure that you can put on with that weapon is nuts. That, I guess. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Oof, you have damage. I don't understand, I don't understand how to deal with Versa Rush, it's super hard. Yeah, it really is, honestly. Yeah. Oh, they did almost, it did 350, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Hey. Okay, I don't want to play stupid though. It's stuck, it's stuck a school weapon to counter it, but the thing is, the pressure with Merc is crazy. Yeah. This is so crazy. Yeah, the, I mean, the best thing you can do with s stock is when you think I'm gonna pressure you, you just do a rolling attack to, it's like some sort of get out of jail. And when you trade, when I trade with your rolling at that, I don't get a guaranteed combo because uh, you're gonna get a leering counter hit. But, I mean, other than that, I think your best bet is to um, like straight up try to counter my damage type by stacking dark defense and physical defense in that in this case. I think that's the best bet. Try to take as least damage as as you can from uh, to win your trades more with S stock pretty much. So like use the dark bug pellet and then. Um, or the armor, I don't know what type of damage, it does slash, so I guess you have the right armor against slash. So pretty much just use a, a bug pellet. The only problem is, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I think I, if I was you, I'd use Clorn T-Ring instead of Sun Princess in a fight like that. Just because you, you feel like you don't have, like, I don't know for you, but when I fought PvP King, uh, like back then when he was pressuring me with Murky, I feel like I had no fucking space to breathe even though we were in uh, in the arena which is like very huge and wide just because he was pressuring me so much so I, I really had to switch to Clorin T-Ring to be able to keep up with that pressure otherwise I didn't have enough stamina regen okay okay um, so, so if I was you I'd switch to like Clorin T <laughs> instead of Sun Princess Like Clor I don't know what your rings are, but either Clorinty Leo yeah, or just Clorinty. I, I had I had Leo and Le uh, Life Ring, and I switched Life Ring to Sun Princess. But now I'm gonna go yeah. with the, um, the Stamina Ring instead. Yeah, and instead of Life Ring, I mean, right. from the beginning, which it's um, what it's called again, Clorinty Ring. Oh, I can actually trade combo with mine. Woof, this, this weapon, this weapon, I love PKCS actually, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this weapon is just insane, oh fuck it, it's just a, uh, yeah, it's not break tier for no reason, yeah, this is the hardest weapon for real, for real, like, with Dark Blade, oh Yeah, I think this oh, is nice the only there. way I can do it. Yeah, 
Yeah, right there. That rolling attack was well placed. Oh boy. Nice bait. He actually got it. You got it! You got it, devil! This is so hard to close for this game, I swear. I'm pushing too much. Let me let me play smarter for this one. I I I hope that uh Esta Fook is a thing. I really hope that. Like, have you seen this? Like, it, it took, like, half of my HP. Nah, this person is not a joke. <laughs> this is not a joke at all. You know what, it's actually, uh, stuck there. Yeah, I... Oops, I can't hear you that. when you fell a Spectre. Oh my god. Back then. Yeah, this weapon is crazy. Yeah, I mean... Usually I don't have too much problems to deal with, with Curve Sword, but with Latency... The, like, the quick step making it invincible is pretty fucking dumb. Oh, nice. Action rule this weapon. How do you forget about really stuff like this? I even forgot about buffing weapons. Because of pressure, I literally forgot everything in the game. Oh my god. Ooh. This weapon is dumb. This weapon is fucking dumb, man, honestly. I think every turn he blocked us, isn't it? It's bad. Yeah, pretty much. Well, not every turn he, but most of them did. When Castle started banning it, every, kind, every turn he kind of followed. Except a few ones where, like, people left, like, everything unbanned on purpose. Wow. And there was a few turnies where... Like, I, I mean, Pontiff does it so at least you can breathe, but with this weapon, no. Nothing, actually. Oh boy. I think the only way I can have stand this weapon is S stuck. I can't. I have no other chance. Like, no choices there. I mean, like, I'm bad with Curved Swords, which means I don't like to use Pontiff Curved Sword. And uh, with Murky, I, I can't murder mur Murky. Really? Why? I don't know. I don't feel it's uh, it's easy. You don't feel do comfortable. Yeah. Mm. I, I put myself <laughs> pressure quick step. Pressure quick. You step. don't like uh, PK versus Murky either. I'm bad with it. Oh. I don't know if it's good. Good right, thing let's to see then. I did try. I try to, to use it. I don't know. I think PK is a good match for Murky, especially on like mid to low lat. 
Yeah, you can't R1 like randomly though. I think I can't trade after now. I can't. Yeah, you told me both handed. I can't. Oh my god. Yeah, I would think PK is your best bet, honestly. Yeah, I don't. It, you I definitely don't need know. more experience with PK for sure. Yeah, I don't know how to use it at all. I don't know. I, it's like... Actually, let's do this. Uh, I think Estop can can have uh, have chance versus Pontef, isn't it? Uh, it's not too, it's not good, but it's not too bad. You want to avoid shield poking like that though, because you're going to get uh, guard broken and uh, okay. great combo. Yeah, you need, you pretty much like any, like any good player has like a, um, some sort of like crutch weapon that they can go back on, like if they want to win the fight, like most people default to PKCS, but you have some people that default to Murky. I, I like you kind of need like too. your broken weapon like that, that you master pretty much. I mean like, I like to play with Scarfian. But Kervian comparing to Pontiff or Mercury. Yeah. That's sort of like, like that. How that has always like been an issue with me since. Uh, but since I started learning to play Mercury myself, like it's not as much of an issue anymore. Cause I feel like I can, I can compete with like the best curve swords with my with my Mercury. But like before, I had never really played Mercury, and I was only playing Corvian. And I always felt at a disadvantage versus the really good curve sword players. I see. Like you wanna master one of the like meta scrub weapon so that you have like an answer when someone pulls uh one of the top weapons against you, like you don't you don't have like to sweat your ass off with uh, some weapon that takes so much more effort to kill people with like for instance S stock, which is still very good but it takes more effort to kill with S-Dog than with like PK or Murky. Alright, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try this. I know that I'm gonna suck a lot with us, but I'm gonna try it. Wow. That spit oh my god. It's like it's like you give me you you give me your side and then you you do that and then this. I'm not even like particularly good at PK mirrors. It's just that uh you know people People that play PK all the time are much better at, the, at these. Well, much better, not really much better, but slightly better. Holy shit. Oh my god. Those targets are... Yeah, nasty. Have the PK vortex. Yeah, I forgot about this. I 
I hate that corner. <laughs> no! I actually saw that at the last second. Oh my god. Yeah, ah, uh, pretty hard, but yeah, I need to get into that, I don't know, there is no chat, there is no other, like, other weapon having a chance, like, not murky, not pontiff, I don't think so, but yeah. I get, well, against, like, like, against either pontiff or murky, really the only thing that can compete that is not PK or murky is gonna be crossbow with something. Like either crossbow S stock or maybe crossbow straight sword, but probably crossbow S stock. And then like if you don't want either, I guess to an extent you can go with sword and board, but uh, you are at a disadvantage. You can still compete, but it's definitely harder. Even with uh, uh, ring it cancel, ring it. Split. Yeah, even even with the cancel like. Uh, PK like if especially if you're fighting like a dedicated PK build and what I mean by that is like a PK build that has 40 endurance Night Slayer ring and Clorenty ring like the pressure that you can pull out against a Black Knight shield is just very very uh, Very difficult to deal with for a sword and board When you stack like stamina regen on a PK build like it it's very very hard to deal with Because PK can pressure pretty hard Oh my god. Especially against a slow weapon like a uh, straight sword that pretty much is forced to uh, to get hits out of neutral and is slower, it's like, it's very hard. How, how long it take from you to, to be as good uh, with Plant of Curved Sword? I mean, like... Uh, I don't know, I've played with all the weapons for a long time. Not that easy thing to play with this weapon. Yeah, you still you still need to uh, to know uh, to know how to play with it. It's not free. I mean, even murky, it's not. Murky definitely has. It's definitely easier to use than PK, but. Like I know the staggered point, but the thing is, the spacing with us is not okay. It's not easy. So I can't win the trade after blocking, I guess.
Uh, I should just uh, get. Oh, sorry. No, oh, nice. That was good. I, I think I didn't know that I'm gonna catch you with this. Like, I was stressed out. <laughs> There's a few instances where I don't play often with um Usually I play with Goddard in that matchup. I usually have Dark Goddard, but there's a few instances where I could have um got a running attack and then weapon art because I have priority if I do that, but I'm not used to playing with Ring Knight enough. Yeah. You don't even uh, like to cancel. I mean like... Yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. I don't play with Ring Knight. I usually play with Yonard. I, I saw you cancelling with uh, Ring Knight only when uh, walk up, when, when uh, something like wake up or something like that. When you are... To I usually up. cancel it for running attacks, but... Like, oh. I feel like a lot of people that use the cancel, like... They don't... Like, they don't know how to use the straight sword back... Like, they don't even... They miss out on the straight sword backswing. Like, if you always cancel out your first R1 to the second one, you miss out on the backswing. And that's really that's really not, like, something you want to do, because mo most of your damage with Straight Sword usually is, like, against a good player on the backswing. So if you always uh, cancel and get the first one, it's like, you're missing out on your most important roll catch. Nice, nice, now makes sense now. So, but so. like obviously it would be better every time you whiff and you know you're gonna whiff to just cancel it but like you don't you don't want to miss out on that that backswing right there because that's your bread and butter so if you always cancel after the first one you don't get that backswing if you just uh, do this like uh, like if you just do this you don't get that backswing that's Makes sense. You know, how you roll catch people. Alright, alright. Ah, uh, I shouldn't always hold it. I mean, uh, the end one. Also, oh, Straight Sword is a lot stronger at Old Wolf than like Pontiff or any open area. Because you can like, you can zone a lot more with Straight Like, Straight Sword is good at pushing your opponent to a wall and then spamming that away. the same mistake, the run attack here.
I think the basics with quantum perfect third is uh, the stagger R1, isn't it? And you need to outspace most of the time. Yeah, you need to outspace the first, like... Failing to that a lot. I actually delayed it a bit too. Ah, uh, okay. I even delayed it, so you. I guess you even couldn't get it, even if I delayed it, so you really can't do it, I guess. I mean, because I, I was in the headstone and maybe I was stuck there. We can try it, we can test it if you want. But I, I don't think you can do it. If I like release it right away, I don't think you can parry it. But yeah, like see what I what I said like earlier. Like I'm not used to doing the full weapon art after running. Like now I I did it pretty much every time. Like every yeah. time I landed a running or a rolling, I went for a, a weapon art. So I do actually have priority on that. So this is actually uh, interesting. The weapon art with uh, with uh, ringet knife. I mean, it looks cool. I don't know if it's always gonna work against someone using Pontiff Curved Sword. But this is. I mean, it's not. It's not a counter. It's definitely not a counter. But it's not like that bad of a matchup. Like it's not completely. Uh, you know, it's not. It, it's not easy for the Pontiff Knight Curved Sword. Like I'd say, the Pontiff still has the advantage, but it's not like easy. But I'm, I definitely have a lot of experience with straight sword though. Like, I have a lot more experience with straight sword than uh, curved sword. I don't know if I can win the trade after blocking. What would you use if you have to fight against a sword and board like normally Corvian? Normally? Normally I do a uh, gold Corvian. Try Corvian. Yeah. I want to see how you do uh, if, like in your comfort zone because definitely you're you're not used to fighting with PK but let's see when you're in your comfort zone. I actually too like to play with Corvian against a... Uh... Oh wow I can't even do that against Dagger. Whoa. Yeah that was crazy. Bad actually. I always forgot about it. Oh my god, I always forgot about the weapon art. Yeah, I'm, normally I go with Caribbean. But this time I'm a little bit forgetting about the weapon art. Normally, no one using weapon art G9. Yeah, and I, I know there's not a lot of people, like, everyone is just so high on the cancel, all they do is try to do the cancel, but the weapon, like, if you play the weapon as it's intended, like, without too many cancels and actually focus on using all the attacks properly, it's pretty good. Normally, I can't beat Strength Sword with Caribbean, but wow, that, that weapon art, that was a ton of damage, cool. Yeah, also on quality it does, like, it does a lot more on quality than strength. Because usually I use that weapon on strength, but now I'm on a proper build for it.
Alright, Mr. Corvian, show me what you got. See there, I should have cancelled. Block it. Okay. I thought I could block out of spam, but I can't. Yeah, interesting that you can't block it. I guess uh, that's the problem with AV when I fight AV with Caribbean. I thought I could block, block out of spam, but I, I, I guess I can't. I feel a lot more comfortable when I play with Caribbean G9. A lot of. Although, to be fair, most of the damage, like, I, I don't know, I tried to R1 out of the, uh, not R1, but um, block out of that stun. I actually didn't know you couldn't block out of, uh, out of getting hit with daggers. Uh, Gina, I don't think I had a problem learning the Curvian. Like, I'm having problem learning something like Front of Curve so I don't know. Maybe because I watched your stream a lot, maybe. I don't know. But when I began with Scarfian, I had no problem. Like, uh, Fanta. Cancelled the rule attack, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, that was cool. The, ah, the, the backswing got me there. the block again that almost cost me
thought you are out of the No, I actually had like yeah. a third of my bar. Yeah, that gun deal wasn't the good idea, but I thought. Yeah, after usually gun deer against shields in general is never a good idea. Even losing, but I still more more comfortable with the uh, with the Caribbean than uh, Ponto. Like yeah, I think you're doing better too. Like you'd pretty much have to practice more with uh, with PK to to uh, get a hold of it, hold of the get a hold of the weapon. Oh, the thing is. Uh... The thing is boring to uh, pull out Pontiff and invasions. It's kind you of boring. So? Yeah. When I yeah, when I do it, I need to be passive. Like most of the time. Well, you don't need to. Be, you can play aggressive with PK. Like it's definitely one of those weapons that you can. Like usually, I play super. Like recently, most of my um, invasions on my dex build, I play with the Gru Curve Sword, which is like a. Kind of, I mean, it, it plays a bit like Pontiff because it's a fast curve sword, but because it's shorter, you have to be in your opponent's face more. But uh, since it does more damage on my dex build and it has poison, I feel like it encourages me to like pressure a lot more with it. But you could still do the same with uh, with PK, really. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to play with that. Next stream, if I play quality, I'm gonna focus on uh, Ponto. Ah, I forgot about it many times. Not even. Mm, that scared the shit out of me. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I swear, God. I don't know why not more. Like, not many people actually do the the bomb cancels. Yeah, it's... it is good. It is good. Like, since I figured that out, like, no one has really played with it. The only guy I've seen do it is, like, Gino. Gino, and he I doesn't even PvP anymore. Gino did it a lot. Good right there, get out of uh Yeah I know I had no chance of making it to that but
go and stop you? Oh my god! Yeah. Like, all right. Ah, so it can go after R1. Yes. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. I honestly I think you need to be more aggressive with that Corbion. Um Cause you're just letting me do whatever I want really. Yeah. Like if you if you pressure me, you're gonna get some damage in. Alright, I'm gonna try to Just you know and when you get a hit, don't let go, like, try to get a mix-up going, either spam, you know, throw a weapon art, spam, stagger R1, do, do what you gotta do, but try to keep the pressure on when you land a hit. It's not like against Murky, or against another dagger, or against PK, because I can't really R1 out of your R1. My straight sword is just not fast enough. Uh, okay. And it's not like s duck either, so it's, it's easier to pressure a sword and board with Corvian than... Uh, than say like an S dock and uh, another dagger or a curve sword. All right, let me let me see if I. I'm gonna try. See there, you managed to get like an extra hit just because you kept pressure. Oof, I wasn't too sure that made it. No, no! Whoa. That almost was it though. Why did that, dude? No, you almost got that on the kick. <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, those kicks. I don't understand. I don't understand them. PS5 controller for real. Oh lord. <laughs> okay, let me switch it up a bit. Um, oh, actually, let's do this.
By the way, why you uh, pick up Dark Sword uh, sometimes? Not uh, not low strength or uh, not... oh, that's because I'm on strength build. Uh huh. So Dark Dark Sword is better for damage. Yeah, on strength build, Dark Sword is pretty much the the most damage straight sword. Well, it's not the most damage. Like broadsword does more damage, but I mean, I'm not gonna use broadsword. It's just too short. But yeah, Lotric would be kind of better if, uh, if it had like more damage. But I think it has sick, like um, I think Dark Sword has enough AR to warrant the. Uh, Dude. Oh, I missed it. That's bad. I wouldn't go back to I don't understand what happened with me there. Also, I, every time I see people play with s -Duck, they always use Black Knight. I don't know, I feel like it's better to use Lotric because you still have that parry option. And um, he, there's really no use for the weapon art, I feel. Yeah, n never use the weapon art. It's a, it's ugly one. That's really nothing. Yeah, I hate that spo this punish. You can punish it with Curvin, I guess, as well. Uh, what? Uh, the weapon art. The third. Oh, well, you can punish it with pretty much anything. Nice. Ah, uh, pretty. Break tier? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's pretty much even then. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks to Expo. <laughs> Good old trusty Expo, always there. I so I really know it. I know you know it. Oh nice there.
Ooh. It's a quite fun to play uh, playing at night. Yeah, it's a fun weapon, honestly. Because there's a lot of stuff you can do with it to like get better with it. It has a full move set. You have a ton of options. You have a good running, good rolling, good R1, good R2, good weapon I. It's just a complete weapon. There's not a lot of weapons that have like all their attacks being useful. Yeah, it's like a, it's like in the great swords there is a claymore because every every single attack is cool. Like you can roll R1, it has poise. The weapon art, even the um, weapon art R1, uh, what it called the L2 R1, it should yeah. break. Yeah, every every category has like uh, the special weapon. I mean, my, me, myself, I like uh, Zvi as well in the Ultras. Like, for instance, when you look at a weapon like Follower Saber, it almost has everything, but the R2 is kind of useless. The rolling attack is okay, but it's not that great. Like, that R2 the there is pretty bad, yeah. yeah. What I'm doing here. No, oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't swap since my inventory is so far. Mind games. <laughs> oh, oh then what are you trying to do there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing else to do. Literally nothing else to do. Got that range there. Fucking dirty weapon. No! Oh, you fucking did it! Oh my god. See you there. No. Yeah, it's not a joke when you get the weapon art. Yeah, that weapon art is pretty yeah, pretty good actually. Saber is a pretty good weapon just because that weapon art is a good roll catcher. It's like with fast curve swords, the goal is to get to their face and then uh, make the other guy panic and then roll catch on reaction. With this, as soon as you get to their face, you can just do the weapon art instead and has a chance at catching them. Especially if you've damaged their poise like, and they have no roll poise, the weapon art is just going to stagger oh, them and fully hit man, them. Yeah, that hurts. That hurts. It's great weapon as a uh, hard swap as well for guard break. Oh yeah, yeah, I love guard breaking with that thing, honestly. I missed, it feels bad. Oh 
Oh my god. I tried it! I tried the R2! <laughs> Oh, oh, really? What the fuck? Get him, get him, get him, get him, please. Please. I'm old wolf. What? There you go. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. Fucking old wolf cocked me on that bolt too. That could have been bad. Now what, G9? Now what, G9? What are you gonna do now? Tell me. Tell me. No, 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 no. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> 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 I guess this is not that bad, honestly. Mm. Yeah, the stuggered R1 with it is so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I like it though, I like it. It does that on uh, on invaders who just try to stun with a uh, stress sword. Like, as soon as you see someone like really dumb with um, whatever. St Strange sword is or just go with Sassus R1. They try to parry most of the time. Also, when you have like um, a lot of phantom range against your opponent, then it's actually very good at roll catching people on reaction because you have that extra range with fist. It's actually not bad. You can reaction roll, uh, a reaction roll catch on reaction with the fist weapon. I see. Like demon fist or sass dust. Yeah. Ah, uh, makes sense. Okay. By the way, um, Morion, Morion blade. Uh, is it is it only good when when you're having like? Um, yeah, when you're low. Low. Oh, uh, okay. 
I mean, you can use it when you're not low, but there's really no reason. No, 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 no! <laughs> my, my inventory is so fucked. My inventory is so fucked. Ah, oh, man. Reset. Oof. I'm gonna try uh, straight, straight sword actually. Do you, are you out of a... Uh... No, I have okay. it. a lot more damage when you have perseverance of course there uh. yeah no yeah oh, I'm oh you, <laughs> yeah, <I got laughs> you sneaky bastard <laughs> <laughs> no uh. you're doing the revan you just fucking let go the control and then fucking randomly starts attacking you oh i remember God. when he did that against gabri that was so funny <laughs> Oh 
Woo! Almost. Oh. We gotta be careful here. <laughs> oh my god. No! Oh, I was scared. That's enough fisting. Let's try. Uh, what else can I use? Oh, you know what? Let me actually use uh, something I have not used in a long time. Oh, god damn it. Oops. Oh, god. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Sestus OP, please nerf. <laughs> it's not bad. Sestus isn't bad at all. It's, an, it's yeah, actually a good cool. weapon. Yeah, don't go easy on it, honestly. Yeah. You'll be surprised. I hate you. Come back with this. Oh, my God. I didn't mean that at all. I 
I misspaced it. It was bad. Oh. I played that one pretty trash, to be honest. <laughs> Dude, why am I panic rolling the R2s? I didn't space it properly the first fight, but that's what I was going for. Yeah, I see. That's cool one. Oh. I think this is uh, a couple of Lurian, I guess. After great yeah, the Lurian is actually a fucking tank on quality build like it does crazy AR like uh, let me tell you the AR with the buff the AR with the buff is 756 Damn. yeah that's a lot it's probably right next to Lotric like Lotric uh, Ultra on like bundled Lotric and Vex build is OP as well yeah I, I, Lotric's actually I think it it's better on strength for the amount of points, but you can reach higher damage on on uh, uh, Dex, yeah.
That was crazy in the back side as well. Come on, devil, you got this. The pit. Yeah, that pivot is not okay. Not a good idea. Oh my god. What? Dude, I don't understand. I was literally rolling. This is actually awful what I did there. Yeah, what I did Yeah, there not your best right there. What I did there was awful. God damn it. I wish there was a way to set up the inventory so that, um, like the the ultra didn't get in the way of everything else. Like I really wish I could have claymore and then follower saber right next to it, but might be able to do it if I sneak it under. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I can probably do that if I remove a few weapons. I could try that. Like you wanna have the uh, the poison claymore and um, below, like like down, um, what it called the follower saber, like right down the claymore. Yeah, right on below the claymore. Mm. Damn it! It's like your response build. Yeah, well, on my strength, it's to, it's to the right, like below the claymore is lethal. Oh, sure. Yeah, it was always to the dry, true. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Inspector. <laughs> oh my god, fucking Spectre clone. <laughs> Where's Spectre at? Anyone, anyone pulling out Rick, I call them Spectre. <laughs> it's actually funny. Oh, close. Damn it. Did you see the animation start up for the yeah. backstab? Yeah. Then I turn and just uh, try the armor. It's 
it's sometime recipe. What? Dude, please, I hate it. Oh my god. Look at that, I can't do anything. Change weapon, devil. You don't need to force yourself to use a great sword against uh, the ultra. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, dude! I, I can't do much with Gale. I really can't do much with Gale. There is no no uh, um, cool. Rule R1 or the, the stance escape. L2 R2 is the claymore. Like, yeah. I mean, the weapon art with Gale is cool. It's, it does a lot of damage, I know, but I don't use it. Yeah, <laughs> me either. I don't even use it. <laughs> I never really was a fan of Gale, honestly. I know it's good, but I don't know. An invasion, like 100%, I'd take the the stance escape over that combo. Yeah, a lot because a lot of the uh, gankers thirsty for R1 spam. <laughs> <laughs> So you can't excuse. Uh, and sometimes and it's just a get out of jail card when uh, you're getting chased and something hits you and you just press that that stance button and you get out of it. I think it was intended in the game, isn't it? Uh, you know? No, I don't think so. Uh, okay. You don't need to use greatsword again if you don't want to. No, it's cool. It's cool because I main uh, greatswords as well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to something fil filthy. Filthy? All right, good. You <laughs> like filthy? <laughs> oh my god, I like how reaction, the reaction was. Now, all right, look, I, I pressed bu wrong button there. Whoa. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's really an... Alright. After a great sword, I think she'll aim the raid though. That's oh. it. Alright. That's a true combo to an R1 when you only land the... Uh... The end of it. know that you can uh, um, keep going after the fake graph.
imagine, imagine Ultra Great Sword winning Strength Sword. Yeah, you're not supposed to lose that, honestly. Imagine. <laughs> oh my god. I don't oh. think you've ever fought any good Ultra. Ooh, misspaced that. I want to see how I'm gonna I'm gonna play with both. I don't think I can do as as much I can do with them. I think it cancelled. Oh, it got hurt. Sorry, not both. Right? God, feels bad. No, you saw it. Yeah, yeah, that was a mistake to do it twice. That was just a mistake. I should be there for next time. A good thing to do, it was like, after the first one, just go for a backstab. Oh, you mean the parry attempts? Yeah. Yeah. God damn it, imagine losing to Ultra Dead so when you're using a straight sword. <laughs> oh my god. Well, this one you pretty much beat the ultra. I had to switch for this one. I yeah. think you figured it out now. Yeah, it's always about spacing. But the thing... Ult I mean, like, Greatsword should beat Ultra Greatsword. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, not the, it's not the easiest matchup because you don't have the poise advantage, but I mean... I don't know. I still, I, I still find like I still find it somewhat harder than a lot of other matchups when I have to face an ultra versus my claymore. Especially Fume. I feel like Fume is the most annoying one to fight <laughs> if you're using great sword. Especially the double R one. Because the R one is just you can't really whiff punish it with claymore. Yeah. Unless you're already like sprinting anyway. There is a lot of uh, randoms at Pontiff, but it's, it's so funny to find them, uh, find them when, when they're using Fume, G9, they <laughs> The spamming R1 is so funny actually. Let me use Lost. Yeah, I don't know, I don't feel to use Lost actually no. Normally it's kinda crazy to do all this combo. doing oh. 
find me some loot there. Oops. Oh, let me let me use something interesting. I didn't even know that I would think that. <clears throat> yeah, I thought it weren't. Maybe um, because you didn't reset your poise before switching to it, I don't know. Yeah, that's right again. So what I'm doing. Ah, this kick for real, I don't understand. Oops. I need to be careful from those. What? I saw that back. Ah, oh, this rabbit is all bad. I should went to the weapon R, the to the R2, my bad. No! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright devil, let's do a last summon. Alright. I I think you're getting tired. one you gonna stream by the way yeah I might do it like a short stream nice. you are almost 5,000 on YouTube subscribe yep, nice, congrats it's crazy it all happened in yeah. 2020 that's amazing yeah it's like yeah uh, before 2020 I, I had like like a thousand or not even 900 something, I don't, I don't remember. That's cool. Okay. I'm gonna get it this time. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta finish it with the that thing. Yes. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I did not lose. I did not lose. <laughs> oh no.
no, 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 Actually, do you want to reset? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, I couldn't even uh, change my rings. <laughs> I couldn't even change my rings, god damn it. This weapon. Pain. I swear, this is pain. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright. This weapon is so broken. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, that would have been the perfect end. I know it. I know it. You knew it, really? Oh, nice bolt there. I hit the face and then go again. Job. <laughs> oh, devil. Oh, my God, this is Spain. Nothing gonna work. Oh lord. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, are you out of healings? Yeah. Let me drop you uh... Oh great. No, 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 no. Ooh, fight rolling, fight rolling. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, it's comeback season, devil. <laughs>
gonna feel it. He's gonna feel it. He's gonna feel it. He's gonna feel it. <laughs> Oh my god, you know I hate this weapon! <laughs> oh my fucking lord, this weapon! What a fucking trash weapon, I swear! This actually look unironically kinda cool. <laughs> this right there, like it has a style to it. I don't hate it. <laughs> no ganker style? How do you like my ganking Which gear? Workout? You ordered some, uh, like, cocky asshole or something. <laughs> That's accurate. Uh, Alright, let's, uh, let's get this going. No, I know it. No. I know it. <laughs> oh god. No. Ah! No. <laughs> Z! Save me, Z! Save me, Z! <laughs> no! Oh my god. Alright, Devil, last one. This is gonna be it. Fucking dumb weapon. Alright, let's go, Corbin. I see. I see how it's stopping that. So you out space it and then have out space it and then okay, GG. Oh my god, GG. Poor devil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice. That murky fucked me up, man. Yeah, I mean, murky is murky, but... I don't know, I, I feel like... Oh, I don't know. I need to get good, this is it. I need to get good against that. I need to call Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Actually, oh, Dr. Murky. <laughs> Dr. Murky. <laughs> Dr. Murky, Dr. Murky. I, I like My it. Murky hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh like my god. He's, he's a friend with Hack. When Hack, ha Hack always hit on Murky. <laughs> <laughs> they are funny. Oh. All right, I think I'm gonna stream uh, Devil. I'm gonna stream a bit of Invasions and then... Uh, I'll right. get off after. All right, man. Have All right. Fun. Yeah, thank you, dude. Let's do that again uh, yeah, that soon was... enough. Sometimes, whenever. That was great, man. Oh, All right. Well, take care, man. <laughs> take care, man. See you around. All right. See you, devil.